Wow, 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 wow. Wait a minute. Is that C really supposed to be there? It's pronounced Nadarians, not Sunadarians. It's like I'm back in grade two and on my spelling test I spell my name C B R A I D E N and I have that silent C in there. Come to think of it, I don't think there is such thing as a silent C. Well, that's science for you. Anyway, <clears throat> and roll tape. Hello and welcome. My project is all about Nadarians. Yes, Nadarians with a C. The phylum of Nadaria includes the classes Scythozoa, jellyfish, Cubozoa, square shaped jellyfish, Hydrozoa, hydras, and Anthozoa, which are corals and sea anemones. Now, Nadarians were the first animals to actually move, not in, like, you know, a car or anything, mind you, but by themselves. And they were also the first to have an actual body of a definite shape and form. Uh, this differs from sponges because sponges don't move and do not actually have a definite body shape. It's, it's always changing. Now, most Nadarians are diploblastic, which means they are composed of only two layers of cells. The outer layer is known as the ectoderm or epidermis, and the inner layer is known as the endoderm or gastrodermis. These layers contain the nerve nets that control the muscular and sensory functions of the animal. Between these layers is a jelly-like non-cellular substance which is known as the mesoglea, which is what jellyfish get their name from. There are two major body forms for nadarians, polyp and medusa. Polyp means mouth up and anchored into the ground. Typically these are sea anemones and corals. Medusa means mouth down and free floating. These are jellyfish. The mouths are usually surrounded by tentacles and stinging cells called nematocysts. This is what catches and paralyzes the prey. The mouth leads to a body cavity known as the solar enteron, where the food is digested in the animal by enzymes. And now we shall take a break. While away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching, if I only had a brain. Alright, we're back. Nadarians have no brain or heart. Instead, these animals have specialized tissue to coordinate basic bodily functions and movement. As we all probably know, jellyfish move by flabbing their tentacles and basically pulsating their bodies, as you can see. It's almost mesmerizing. It's amazing, as you can see. Uh, this pulsating actually attracts their food to their mouth as well. Uh, other nadarians typically do not move at all, such as coral. And the best part about their mouth is, it's also an anus as well. If you don't know what that means, please ask Miss H after the presentation. Thank you. The symmetry of these animals is both spherical and bilateral symmetry. Respiration is carried out by diffusion. Ecologically speaking, nadarians are very important to the environment. Coral and sea anemones especially, since they provide a habitat for thousands of species, such as Nemo from Finding Nemo. The anemones protected Nemo's family and kept unwanted predators away by shocking them. Nandarians inhabit aquatic environments of all depths. Now, reproduction. This is a whole different matter. You see, these animals can reproduce asexually and sexually as well. The most common form of reproduction is well displayed by jellyfish. Jellyfish, if male, will release sperm, and if female, will release many eggs. 
external fertilization occurs, and a free swimming larvae is formed that eventually will settle on the ocean floor. When in the ground, a polyp is formed, and asexual reproduction occurs through budding. The polyp will grow and grow until a medusa is formed and floats away. The phylum above Nidarians is called Platyhelminth. Now, Platyhelminth, apparently, from what I have learned, uh, they penis fight. Now, unfortunately for the jellyfish, they don't have penises, so therefore they can't penis fight, which distinctly separates the Platyhelminth phylum from the Cynodarian phylum. Some fun facts here now for you. The largest jellyfish is the lion's mane. It has tentacles that can be as long as half a football field. Now, the Australian box jellyfish is the most dangerous kind. It apparently has toxins more potent than cobra venom. And finally, jellyfish have been around for more than 650 million years, which means that they outdate the dinosaurs and probably your grandparents too. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a really good time and miss you many. I said I would, so you're the best teacher in the world. Thank you.